<laughs> That's five draws in a row now. Rona. <laughs> ah, this is pretty bad content. Uh, which is what I care about these days. It's five. I had this against the Lereza and the Vanderblitz Cup last year, and that's that was the first time I saw this line, and I found it sort of hard to believe that that white could have anything, but removing this knight that wasn't c6 has removed some of my influence, influence in the center over these two squares. So that I guess that's... That's the point, but still giving up the bishop pair seems kind of weird. So yeah, this is what I had against Alireza. D4, took on D3. Yeah, the format is 24 games. And against Alireza, I castled, and after queen f3, I was worse. So I think what black is supposed to go bishop f, bishop g4. It's also possible rook lifts here, and pawn is hanging. So this is not a bad line for white at all. Yeah, Alreza, uh, he, Artemiev would have beaten Alreza except for etiquette. Too much etiquette is a bad thing. Why did I lose speed chess? I don't know. Probably didn't play well enough. You got any other stupid questions you want to ask? <laughs> You're right. Either all questions are stupid or no questions are stupid. There's really no in between. Will the guy with the man bun ever become world champion? It was pretty close, I would say, back in 2017. I was on my way. I really, really wanted to get the man bun back then. Now I don't win most of my games. I draw most of my games. Haven't you noticed? Okay, so if I take rook d1, that's his point. Okay, I'll go rook e8 instead then. Maybe rook a7, but I find it hard to believe. Okay, so he goes queen of three, though. That's clever. Guess I should take. I don't, ha don't have any tactics. Bishop b4, maybe? Because I want him to take back with the pawn here. Bishop e2 is also a move, but I think he takes with the queen, and then I don't, don't know what I'm going to do. Okay, let's go bishop b4. It's heading to North Wars, another draw by the way. It's pretty, pretty sick. <laughs> so tomorrow, I will have a shorter match against Daniel Dubov. And I don't like to give guarantees where, um, when I cannot be absolutely sure about something, but I think the chances are there will be less draws tomorrow with Daniel. <laughs> and yeah, I know some of you don't like, um, don't like, um, some of you don't like uh, the increment, but I, I think it's it's good for being able to, to talk a bit more generally, try and be more, more instructive. And also, also, I know that both Vlad and Daniel certainly prefer prefer increments, so I think it's only fair to them to to do that. Uh, okay, I gotta I gotta speed up. I've misplayed this a tiny bit. I wanted f6, bishop f4, king f7, and then rook d7, king e6, but he could take on c7 first. Okay, let's go. Oh, I'm short of time. Okay, let's go b6. I don't like it though. Don't like it one bit. Yeah, this is really bad. Uh, go back. Check. Okay, now, no, I think he. Now I get king e7 and I'm fine. Absolutely fine now. Now I can even start to hope for, for a win, I think. Out of five, he has some weak pawns. Trade is fine. Rook d8 maybe, after b4. Go here anyway, g6. 
Now I'm a tiny bit better. Don't think it will be enough. But nevertheless, I can try. Check. Back. Let's go B5. Weaken his structure a bit. Okay, check. Maybe I don't have much here. But I think I'm a little bit a little bit better now for sure. I can start running the pawn. Okay, rook b5. This is unpleasant for him. Possibly very unpleasant. Give up g6, but I think my pawn is just too fast now. Yeah. He's got no chance now. There's no mate, I just go king a3 and a1. And look at that! After a million drawn rook endings in a, in a row, I win one! <laughs> <laughs>